Hello, everybody. It is Thursday, May the 5th, and I am still Karen Bondar. Um, I wanted to take a few more minutes to talk about the Channeling Youth Voices um, event again, because there are a lot of more topics that are associated with um, some of the major issues that our youth uh, are facing. Certainly not all of the youth, but there's always going to be a portion who are suffering. Um, and a lot of the time we have absolutely no idea about it. Um, this is, this is a big one. This was, um, death of a supportive figure. So, um, the death of a significant loved one has been a precipitating factor, uh, for illicit substance use for youth. Um, and so this community conversation was an attempt to look deeper into how youths experience grief, um, certainly during the pandemic and um, elsewhere, you know, there's, there are times in a, in a young person's life where death will, will come around, perhaps with grandparents or older relatives. However, um, what we have seen in the past couple of years is just a lot, a lot of death and possibly death prematurely due to COVID or other complicating issues. Um, and, and it's really critical to allow our youths to grieve, um, to not cover up that grief, to not um, make them uncomfortable with that grief, um, to allow them to go through this process in a safe space. Grieving is okay. Sadness is okay. Emotions are okay. Uh, and I remember, you know, one of the things that I really took home from uh, my counseling training when I became a, a psychotherapist is um, that emotions are not going to kill you. And that's, you know, it sounds kind of um, obvious to say it, but when you're feeling these really, really intense, almost uh, overwhelming feelings, what you can safely know and assume and understand about the feelings that you're having is that they won't kill you. They hurt a lot. They sure do hurt a lot, but they won't kill you. So you can hunker down and get through it. Um, so I, I think that for our youth and you know for the first time that they deal with death or the first time that they see um, death in either their families or in someone uh, close to them taking them through that process and, and allowing them to really understand that grief is okay and and however they're feeling is is allowed this will then i mean hopefully mitigate some of the desire that sort of desperate desire to just feel better um which can lead to substance abuse um you know illicit substance abuse and certainly we know that these things are available for our young people to take um so thanks for your attention and um and once again i'll leave some links uh here for you to check out this awesome work that's being done uh through the team at channeling youth voices thank you